Hello and welcome to Classy Handmade. So today I will be showing you how to crochet this plush little duck. So let's get started. For the material, for the material you will need some plush yarn and I'm using Michael's Snuggle Light in yellow. For the body and the wings. For your legs and beak, I'm using this terracotta color in baby blanket yarn for the beak and the feet. So we will need some safety eyes and your crochet hook. So for my crochet hook, I'm going to use a 5.5. I'm going to use this piece of yarn, but if you like, you can use for my stitch marker, or you can use a stitch marker. You need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, some safety eye. I'm using 12 millimeter safety eyes, and we will get started. So to begin, you will take your yellow yarn, and you will make a slip loop. If you cannot make a slip loop, you can chain two and then go into the first chain. I find using this yarn, this Michael's Snuggle yarn, sometimes it's very difficult to pull. So what I do to make my mat, put my start my, <clears throat> sorry, start my project, I'm going to crochet two chains. So that's one, two. Then I'm going to go back into the first chain and I'm going to do my eight single crochet into that first chain. So that's two, crochet over the ends, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you find that you have a little hole there that's why it's better to crochet over your end so you can use it to pull you just use your duck your yarn needle and you go through the stitches and you thread your end and you go through the stitches and like that and you pull to close that hole so for round one you should have eight single crochet into the loop use your stitch marker to mark your stitch as you work so for round two you're going to put increase into each stitch so you're going to put two single crochet into each stitch for a total of 16 single crochet So for round three, you're going to do one single crochet, increase all the way until you get back to your stitch marker. So on the round three, you will have 12 single crochet. So, sorry. So for on round three, you will have 24 single crochet. So one single crochet, then an increase. And you're gonna repeat this sequence eight time for a total of 24 stitch on round three. For round four, you're going to do two single crochet, one, two, increase into the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way around 
until you get 32 stitches. So go ahead and do two single crochet, increase. So for round five, you're going to do three single crochet and then an increase. So one, two, three, increase. For a total of 40 stitches on round five. One, two, three, increase. So we are finish our increase here. We should have 40 stitches on rung five. So from rung six to 10, we're going to do one single crochet into each stitch for a total of five rounds. So I'm going to work on this off camera and I'm going to come back at the end of rung 10 where we will continue working on the body and the head. So go ahead and do your five rounds of one single crochet in each stitch for a total of five rounds of 40 stitches in each round. And I'll meet you back at the end of round 10. So I finished my rounds of five of 40 stitches and your body is going to look like a little half of a bow, like a bowl. So for round 11, we're going to decrease. So we are going to do three single crochet and then a decrease. And we are going to do the invisible decrease. And I'll show you how to do that. So, one, two, three. The invisible decrease is where you grab the two front loops. One, two, and then you single crochet. Now you do the other three single crochet regularly, going through both loops. Then you get the, your decrease, you're going to pick up the two front loops. So we're going to repeat that until we get back to our stitch marker. And at the end of round 11, we should have 32 stitches. So I finish wrong 11 and I have 32 stitches. So for wrong 12, we're going to do one single crochet into each stitch. So we're going to single crochet into each 32 stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and do my 32 single crochet into wrong 12 and I'll meet you back at the end of wrong 12. So we finished wrong 12 and we will have 32 stitches. So we are going to fasten off, but you're going to leave a long tail. So, so you can sew up part of this body. So we have 32 stitches and we are going to fold the back part of our duck. So when we fold that we're going to have 15 stitches so we are going to be sewing through the 15 stitches close and we're going to leave the 12 stitches on work. I would say you have to leave like an 18 inch tail so you can sew your piece shut. So you're going to fasten off because this yarn tend to fuzz out a lot. I normally just take a lighter and burn the end to keep it from fuzzing. So I'm going to take my tapestry needle and I'm going to stitch these fold it and I'm going to go through my if you want if you're not sure you can just mark off your stitches how far you're going to go and do that so I'm just going to 
so like that whip stitch it so that's one two three four five six seven just make sure you're leaving 12 stitches let's count as one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve So you have to have six on this side and six on that side. Okay, so just sew up the back and make the most. You have to make sure that you have your 12 stitches leave unworked so you can make your head. But before you go any further, take some stuff in and start to stuff your body of your duck. So we're going to put some cauliflower. We're going to leave this little part like that so you could have the duck tail. So just go ahead and stuff. Keep stuffing and stuff until you're satisfied. You know, these little amigurumi take up a lot of stuffing. It just look that small, but they take up a lot, a lot of stuffing. So we're going to stuff. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to do one more. And we will be fine. So I'm going to make sure that I'm stuffing my duck body so he's plumped and not when you hold it it's all misshaped <laughs> so just go ahead and make sure you are stuffing him properly and if you the stuffing is not going where you would like it i usually just take a needle and pull the stuffing where i want it to be or i want to be plumped more more i want the stuffing i'm going to just continue okay so you're just going to fasten up make sure you fasten off here and then you're going to just weave your yarn tail in if you have enough for instance right here now I have a lot of yarn left back and what I could do I could either cut that off or I can just Cut that off and then join the new yarn to make my head. But what I'm going to do, seeing as I have so much left, I'm just going to insert my hook into a stitch, one of the 12 stitches, and I'm going to start single crocheting into those 12 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten ten eleven twelve so we're going to continue working continuous round so for round one of the neck you have 12 stitches and you're going to continue working 12 stitches for the neck until you get to round three. So you're going to do three rungs of 12 stitches. So when you get to that part here, you just come over and you do your single crochet and continue working your 12 stitches. So that was wrong one so wrong two so okay so 
and what I'm going to do, I'm going to join my yarn. So, so I am going to attach the new yarn to continue working on my duck. So I have two loops on the hook because I didn't finish the stitch. I'm going to grab the new yarn and pull it through. I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch. You can take your two ends of yarn and tie it just for extra security. Put it into the head and you're going to work a total of three rungs of 12 stitches for the neck. Okay, and st you can stuff as you go to make sure that you're having enough stuffing. So I'm going to finish up my three rounds and I'll meet you right back at the end of round three of my neck. So I finished my three rows of 12 for the neck. So you see I have a little tail here. There is a little hole here. so. I am going to stitch close that up with this little tail that I have. So if I if you don't pull your stitches tight enough, you will end up with that when you're taking your yarn over to the next stitch. So make sure you're pulling your yarn tight enough so you don't end up with that little gap. But if you do end up with that little gap, you can take a little yarn, piece of yarn and sew it up. All right, so let's move on to our head. So for the head, and that will be continuing from the neck, will be round four. We're going to do two single crochet into each stitch for a total of 24 single crochet. So I'm going to get my piece of yarn here, mark my first stitch, so two single crochet, so we're increasing into each stitch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. It's supposed to be 24 stitches so obviously I miss one somewhere so I'm going to go back and rectify that so all right so I have my 24 stitches I didn't miss a stitch so I'm going to now increase so we are going to do three single crochet and an increase for a total of rung five of 30 stitches so go ahead and do three single crochet one two three increase and you will continue the sequence of three single crochet and then an increase all until you get back to your stitch mark and you should have a total of 30 stitches So after you finish round five, you did a total of 30 stitches. So you did three single crochet and an increase on round five. So you're going to continue stuffing as you go. So you're going to stuff the neck. So for round six to 10, so now we're going to do round six to nine. We're just going to put 
one single crochet into each stitch for a total of four rounds and then I'll meet you back at the end of round nine so from round nine from round six to nine you're going to do one single crochet into each of those stitches and you should have 30 stitches on round five so you're going to do four rounds of 30 stitches and I'll meet you back at the end of round nine so I'm going to work on this off camera and I'm going to come back when I'm finished round nine so I finished my row four rows of 30 stitches and we will have our head forming here now so what we're going to do we're going to start to decrease and for round 10 we're going to do three single crochet and then a decrease so let's mark our stitch so one two three then you're going to decrease and you're using the front loops for the invisible decrease and you're going to work this sequence of three single crochet and then a decrease until you get to the end of the round and you will have 24 stitches at the end of the round so I'm going to continue working on this and I'll meet you back at the end of round 10 so I'm coming to the end my last decrease round 10 and your head will start to close in remember to stuff as you go so for round 11 and 12 we're just going to do one single crochet into each of those stitch for a total of two rounds and a total of 24 stitches so go ahead and work two rounds of 24 stitches and I'll meet you back at the end of round 12. So I finished my round of two rounds of 24 stitches. So you're going to insert your eyes. So you're going to insert your eyes between round. I'm consulting my notes here. Between round 11 and 12. And you're going to do about five to six stitches apart so you're going to insert your eyes take the back and place it on so you're going to place the back of the eyes on so you put your eyes on and you're going to continue to stuff your head so get some fiber fill and we're going to continue to stuff our head and make sure your neck is stuffed enough so for round 13 we're going to do one single crochet and a decrease and you're going to work this until you get back to the stitch marker so one single crochet decrease and you're going to repeat this until you get back to the end of the stitch marker and you should have 18 single crochet at the end of round 13 if you think your eyes is going to get in the way wait until you finish one more round like round 13 and then you could insert your eyes there so I finished round 13 and this is how my piece look so I'm going to go ahead and continue on round 14 and round 14 
leave a long enough tail to close the top of your head so we're going to do that we're going to grab our tapestry needle and we are going to close up that head so just this is the top of the head just weave in the front loops stitch all right so this is what it looks like we're going to pull it like that and secure secure it so it don't come loose then we're going to weave the remaining and this is what the top of the head will look like all right so we're going to cut the remaining yarn now we're going to move on to the beak so let's grab our color for our beak and I'm going to use this this is what I'm going to use so for the beak we're going to chain four one two three three four we're going to put two single crochet into each stitch so you turn and the second chain from hook you're going to put two single crochet and then in the remaining two stitches you're going to put two single crochet so that would be two four then two in this five six we're going to turn and we are going to continue working on the opposite side of the chain putting two single crochet into each of those stitches so that's four five six seven eight So we should have 12 stitches. Let's mark our stitches. So on rung one, we work around the three stitches. We work in the front loop and then in the back loop, putting two single crochet into each stitch. So we should have a total of 12 single crochet. So for round two we are going to single crochet into each stitch for a total of 12 stitches so one single crochet one two three four five six seven So on round two, you should have 12 single crochet. So for round three, we're going to increase. And we're going to increase until we get 18 stitches. So we're going to do one single crochet, one, increase into the next. So that's three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and the last increase is 17 and 18 into the last stitch. So we have 18 stitches. So for round four, we're just going to put one single crochet into each of those stitches. So round four, just go ahead and put one single crochet into each stitch. 
for a total of 18 stitches. Okay, so we have our beak finish here. So we are going to take our duck and we are going to place our beak like this. So we are going to place the beak between round about one round down from the eyes. So you can see here if you think you don't like it where it is you can adjust it so I'm just going to pin to make sure I like where it is so I pin my duck about so this is where the eyes are so it's about two row down from the eyes That's why you need to pin it to make sure. So it's like one row down now from the eyes and one row down from the neck. So you're going to fasten off and you're going to leave, leave a long enough tail so you can sew your beak on. And at that time you can stuff as you go. So you have to put polyfill into the beak when you're stuffing so as you stitch and you stitch apart just leave a little opening to put the beak and try not to spread the beak too much out because you want the beak to have like a nice point and not spread out too much so and you can I'm going to remove my stitch marker and I'm going to start to whip stitch so I'm going to go through the head into the beak and so and I'm just going to try and do it as neat as possible removing the pins as you go so I'm going to remove that removing and holding my beak in place because tell you the truth sometimes you put your thing and you pin it and then when you do sew it on it twists and then you don't even know when that happened so just be mindful to make sure you're looking at it when you're sewing it on okay and that's a good thing to sew it on so you know exactly which row you need to sew on Just go ahead, whipping stitch your beak. And if you notice, the beak is right alongside the eyes here. So I gotta make sure that this side too is where it's supposed to be. So just push your needle where you and pull it so so that's my beak so far I'm going to put some polyfill into it so I could push it out a bit you don't want to put too much to over stuff remember you still want your beak to look like a beak <laughs> sure you pull your stitch and 
don't see how the beaker is you know sometimes you can kind of like spread it out like that don't spread it out like keep it up like that and just so because you don't want to go and make it look too wide when you finish okay so i'm gonna sew the bottom making sure that i have the right row where i supposed to sew it on to count and I should tell you exactly where the bottom of the beak should be which row you should be stitching on to as soon as I finish sewing on mines to be and I'm gonna finish it off so when I look at my I'm counting from the top and this is one two three four five six seven I start at the seven row from the top your beak supposed to start then eight nine ten round eleven row from the top your bottom should end that's where your beak should be so I'm going to finish that off, weave in the end into your beak after you finish fastening off, knotting your ends and so on. Make sure you use your, your needle to, so this is what a beak look like and you can use your needle to fluff out the parts that you need to fluff out and so on. So we're going to set this aside. And we're going to start working on the feet so for the feet we're going to put four making magic ring and we're going to put four single crochet into the magic ring so one two three four Pull your ring to close it. Now we're going to increase into each of those four stitches for round two for a total of eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. For round three, we're going to put one single crochet into each stitch. For a total of 12 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. single crochet into each stitch for a total of 12 stitches two three four five six seven 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12. For round 6, we're going to do 2 single crochet and an increase for a total of 16 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Round 7, we're going to do one single crochet into each stitch. 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So for round, we're going to close up this, the tip of the feet. So we're going to fold our piece in half and go through both ends eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fasten off and weave in your end. So we're going to finish up the leg. So we finish up like the paddle, like the, for the leg, for the feet. This is the feet. So we're going to do six we're going to do six surface crochet. So you're going to grab your yarn, take your hook, and this is row one, row two. So let's check the, so we did it like row one, row two. So we started in row two to put the, so we're just going to insert our hook. gonna grab the yarn put the yarn on the hook let's make a slip loop it make it easier to work so insert your hook in row two with the slip knot and do us so that's gonna count as our first stitch so we did a single crochet in the second so we're going to go to the third row and we're going to insert our hook let me zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm doing I'm inserting my hook to the second then I'm going to go sorry that was the third row the fourth row I'm going to insert my hook so that's the third single crochet then into the fourth row I'm just going to do a single crochet so that's four then I'm going to come around into the third five and then I'm going to come back here so you're going wrong in a circle and then you're going to put another stitch Put your last stitch here. So just put the stitches to make a circle. Oops, sorry. Can I seem to get my hook in there? So here you go. So we have six single crochet. What we're going to do, we're going to do 
three rows of six single crochet so one and you could crochet over your loop two three use a stitch marker four five six let me grab a piece of yarn to put okay for my stitch marker so that's my second round one my third round I'm going to do now two three four five six so I so far I have four rounds and you see the leg part is coming up out of the bottom part so I'm going to do it one more time six single crochet and I'll come back so you can go ahead and work your six single crochet rows so you should have four rows all together so you did the first one where you did the surface crochet that's count as row one and then you're going to do three more rows so i'm going to finish off my last row and i'm going to come right back and we are going to attach the leg so i finish my four rows of six single crochet i'm going to cut my yarn leave a long enough tail for sewing on the legs go into the next stitch and slip stitch and fasten off so here I have both of my legs I'm going to take my tapestry needle and I'm going to weave in the ends of my feet so just weave in and that's from where I sew up the bottom so weave in Cut off the excess if you can get it into the body so we are going to get our body now and we are going to sew it on to the sew the legs on to the body I'm going to consult the first one that I made and see where I put the legs so it seems that I put my legs one two on row two because when I put it on row two, it could sit down and the legs could be peeping out from there. So I'm going to move my legs back a little bit. So here is my under part of the belly. And I'm going to put my legs right here. So this is row one, two, three. But I'm going to put it more under the belly like that. So... When I sit it down, the legs would be able to protrude out, okay? So, here you go. So, this is where I'm going to put the legs. So, when it sit down, the legs will be able to go under the stomach and come. <laughs> and it will be able to sit properly, okay? so let's sew on grab your tapestry needle keep your leg in place until you sew it on because you don't want to lose your place so you don't have to stuff your leg so i'm going to sew my legs i'm going to go into the body of the duck and into the leg and just whip stitch it on stitches from your leg and the body and you could take off the next leg so you can see where especially like oh you already have the first one in place because when you go you just match it up and you'll be fine ok 
okay so I'm coming around to my end I'm gonna take my needle out and I'm going to sorry guys I tend to hold my piece close to me and re not forgetting that I need to show you what I'm doing <laughs> So there is my first leg on I'm going to fasten off and I'm going to weave the excess of yarn in I always do that so just in case a stitch come loose or something there is enough yarn inside it don't just come loose easily so I weave it in there a couple of times making sure that it is all there then I'm going to cut the rest of it off so here we go so this is what I'm talking about when you put your legs if you want to know exactly where your leg is going to be you can just put your duck put your leg on pin it and make sure that your leg when you put your leg on it's reaching see this is the stomach and it is reaching like that so when you put it to sit down the legs will be in front like that so let me sew on the other leg and i will meet you back when i finish sewing on the other leg so just go ahead match up the next leg and sew it on and i'll come back and we will do the wings so here is my duck all the legs all sewn on so I'm just going to make the wings and we will be all done so this is how it looks so let's get started with the wings so grab your yellow yarn make a slip knot and you're going to put into that magic ring so we're going to make a magic ring sorry I shouldn't say a slip knot slip knot is when you put the hook on the the loop on the hook so we're going to make a magic ring and we're going to put six single crochet into the magic ring one two three four five six pull your loop to close the ring for round two so that was just round one, six single crochet into the magic ring. Round two, you're going to do one single crochet and an increase for a total of nine stitches. Place your marker so you can know where you are. So one single crochet, then an increase. And on round two, you will have nine stitches. So, so that's two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So for round three, you're going to do two single crochet and an increase for a total of 12 stitches on round three. So single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 12 so we have 12 stitches for round four we're going to do one single crochet increase so on round four we're going to have 18 single crochet so one increase two three four five six seven eight nine 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, and 18 is the last increase. So we're going to do from round 5 to 8, 4 rounds of 18 single crochet. So go ahead and do five, four rounds of, sorry, from round five to eight of four rounds of 18 single crochet. And I'll meet you back at the end of round eight. So I finished my four rounds of 18 single crochet. So round nine, we're going to decrease. So we're going to do one single crochet and a decrease. So one, and you do the invisible decrease. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, and your last decrease is twelve. Okay, so round ten, we're going to do two single crochet and a decrease. So one. For a total we should have so round nine we should have 12 stitches so long 10 we will have nine stitches so do two single crochet one two and then a decrease one two decrease one two and a day decrease okay so you have nine stitches so take out your stitch marker we have nine stitches but you're going to stitch through fold your piece in half and you're going to go through four of those stitches to close it up one two three four so you did four single crochet to close up your top. Cut your yarn and leave a long enough tail to sew your wings onto the body. So I already went ahead and did my first wing. So let's grab our little duck and we're going to sew our wings on. Here we have our duck. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sew this wing about, this is the row above the wing, legs. So about two rows above the legs, I'm going to start sewing my wings. And like a little bit forward, So here you can see I have my wings and I'm going to, sorry about that, the light just went out on <laughs> my recording thing. So we're just going to, so like right in line with the legs I have here, or even if it's a little bit forward, but two row, one, two row. We're going to start stitching in the second row and we're going to do we have four stitches so we're just going to stitch through those stitches so we can um, attach our wings even if you have to do a little extra stitch just make sure that it is all secure so there is my wing attached so I'm going to fasten off I'm going to go go over the second wing with you sew it again so 
let's leave that we're going to turn our dock over we're going to attach the wings again so two rows from the leg and just look at it and make sure that it is all in line okay I'm gonna thread my tapestry so I'm gonna take my duck and I'm gonna put the next wing and I'm going to look at it to make sure it's all in the right place so George Jaws <laughs> and fluff where you need to. <laughs> so sometimes holding, I tend to hold my amigurumi when I'm stitching it very tight. So sometimes it could get out of shape. So that's one, two, three. I'm just gonna put an extra one for good measure five <laughs> fasten off I'm just going to weave that in so here is our little duck all done and ready to fly south so here he is just kind of flatten it if you want, I, what I should have told you is that if you wanted to sit flat, real flat, you can uh, just work in the back loop on wrong. Let's see. Wrong five, just work in the back loop. But even so, it's cute and you just see it sits down even without that. We're leaving the back loop up. So I'm going to zoom out a bit and let you see the finished item. Oh, he have a little. If you want, you could embroider some little nostrils. So I'm going to get some black yarn and I'm going to embroider nostril there. So here I have my duck. I'm just going to go like right here. I'm going to go from the bottom, come through there. And I'm just going to put a line of black yarn and I'm going to go over the other side like that and do the same thing and then just come through where I start just giving it a little black nostrils and I'm going to tie it all and insert it back here so I could pull it so it could get into the body and you could cut off the excess so you don't want to pull it too much to distort your nostril on your back so you see here I pull it too much and then the so what you do is just get your yarn needle find that stitch and just pull it a little bit see so there is your duck so I'm going to go and take some pictures and let you see but this is our finished duck i also made one in number four weight yarn and this is how small it came out and this one stands up so <laughs> yeah it stands in my hands and i also made a little bandana for her so if you want to make a little bandana for your duck you can do that you could even crochet a little flower or probably go ahead and do that make a little flower and put in the on top of the head or something because it's spring and I am making these for spring so thank you for joining me and I hope you understand and you like this tutorial don't forget to like share and subscribe and share this video with your friends and leave a comment so thank you until next time. Bye.